Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom is a 1985 action arcade game developed and published by Atari Games, based on the 1984 film of the same name, the second film in the Indiana Jones franchise. It is also the first Atari System 1 arcade game to include digitized speech, including voice clips of Harrison Ford as Indiana Jones and Amrish Puri as Mola Ram, as well as John Williams' music from the film. Gameplay The player assumes the role of Indiana Jones as he infiltrates the lair of the evil thuggy cult, armed with his trademark whip. The player's ultimate goal is to free the children the cult has kidnapped as slaves, recover the stolen relics known as Sankara Stones, and escape from the titular temple. Throughout Temple of Doom's several modes of gameplay, Indy loses a life if hit once sustaining physical contact with enemies or other hazards, or from falling onto a walkable surface from too far a height. After choosing a difficulty level, the player begins the game, initially composed of three levels, each based on specific scenes from the film. <laughs> Ports Ports of the game were later developed by Paragon Programming and released by U.S. Gold for the Amstrad CPC, Commodore 64, MSX and ZX Spectrum in 1987. The game went to number two in the UK sales charts, behind Renegade. During the same year, Mindscape ported it to the Atari Street and the Commodore 64 different compared to U.S. Gold's version. In 1989, Mindscape ported it to the Commodore Amiga and personal computers that use MS-DOS. The NES version was ported by Tengen in December 1988. The Apple version was ported by Papyrus Design Group in June 1989 for Tengen. Topic: Reception. Computer and video games reviewing the ZX Spectrum, Amstrad CPC, and Atari Street versions called the game quite an accurate and splendid conversion particularly the Atari Street version. The magazine praised the game's playability, but criticized its difficulty and sound effects. Jonathan Sudiak of Allgame, who gave the Commodore 64 version one and a half stars out of five, called the game a major disappointment. Sudiak criticized the gameplay in terrible controls, and wrote, graphically the game is a mess. Most of the game is brown and gray, very unappealing. Sounds are not great either but they are a bit better than the graphics. Theme music plays in the background which is the best part of the game. Most of the sound effects are not sharp and not enough of them exist. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom is a bad game all the way around. It looks bad, has bad controls, and is way too short. 